welcome in this class we will discuss about imaginal disk so what is this imaginal disk and how it is associated with the the insect development so imaginal disk is nothing but it is a a group of cells present in the larval forms which will be converting into a adult structures so which gives rise to a adult structures during the metamorphosis so we know that the developmental process begins with the egg proceeds with the larval form then it will undergo molting gives rise to instar and the number of instars will depend upon the complexity of the adult organism from the larval form and also the environmental condition the feeding habit which is associated with the larval forms so in many organisms this uh, larval forms may vary uh, it will be varying within the species depending upon the feeding habit it will be varying between the species so it will be uh, important for a organism to develop from one stage to the other stage there is a, some specific changes which are happening between the larval stage to the instar stages that is change in the color change in the size of the organism change in the segments so the exoskeleton whatever the major changes which are associated here is there will be a exoskeleton uh, replacement so the exoskeleton that is cuticle which is present in the uh, larval forms will be replaced by the new cuticle that is the exoskeleton in the instar form so in each stage you will see this uh, changes occurring so that the organism will be going growing its uh, in the size then uh, it will be go, uh, uh, this uh, uh, from the larval to the instar these are called instar molding or larval molding then from larva to you have a from a larva to it will be converted into a pupal stage so this molding is called metamorphic metamorphic molding and from the pupal stage you will see it will be developing into a adult structure or adult organ adult organism so this molding which is making the pupal structure pupal stage of the larva to the adult structure this is called imaginal imaginal molding now why it is called imaginal molding because the adult is also known as imago imago so the larval stage which converts from the larval stage to the pupal stage to the adult stage so adult stage is called imago so that molting which assist in this transformation it is called imaginal molting so uh, what exactly happens uh, to the the cells which are associated in the larva and the cells which are present in the adult structure how the cells are arisen in the adult structure so the cells which are present in the larva they will be undergoing programmed cell death at the same time you will also see that there are cells present in the larval stages hidden in the larva those cells are undifferentiated cells and this undifferentiated cells will be developing into a adult structure so what it mean that this undifferentiated cells are already present in the larval organism and this undifferentiated cells are nothing but the imaginal disk cells so as i told you imaginal disk is nothing but a imaginal disk is a, a group of cells around 15 to 16 group, uh, cells in case of drosophila and uh, during the embryogenesis process and this 15 to 16 group of cells together forms the imaginal disk and this imaginal disk 
will be activated during the the pupal stage to convert into a adult structure so whatever the adult structures are there they will be arising through this imaginal disc the structures like uh, leg antennae uh, thorax head region wings so these are the different structures genitalia these are different structures which will be arising through this imaginal disc now the undifferentiated cells they are grouped into the the imaginal cells which are present they are grouped into uh, three categories one imaginal cells second histoblast cells and imaginal cells of particular organ imaginal cells of different organs apart from this uh, this programmed cell death will be happening to the cells which are associated with the larva so they are called larval cells and this larval cells will be undergoing pro programmed cell death and imaginal disc cells which are will be activated these are the undifferentiated undifferentiated cells will be undergoing changes and develop into a adult structure means different structures of the adult organism so imaginal cells will give rise to wings legs antenna thorax uh, head region then genitalia region so there are around 19 imaginal disc is present in the drosophila organism and uh, uh, they will help in the development of the adult structures then histoblast cells these cells are responsible for the development of the abdominal region in the drosophila then imaginal cells of uh, present in the different organs so these imaginal cells which are present in the different organs uh, different organs means different internal organs they are present so the development of these internal organs will be assisted by the imaginal cells which are present in the this internal organs so this is about the imaginal disc and imaginal disc cells and how they are playing important role in the metamorphosis process in insects especially the drosophila organism thank you